Hello, so this is this is a continuation to my last video where I was explaining to you all of the things that the devil has been using Andrew O. O. Coker to wreak havoc in my life with. He also slandered my attorney and when we were in court, he told the judge that he has not been employed since 2016. However, he does have a business that um, he, he it says that it's been open since 2018 a company that he made called Daddy and Kai Services located out of Freeport, New York. If I were you, I would not, you know, shop with him. I would not work with him because he's he's a liar. You know, he's a liar and a thief. So I would not trust my business with him, but that is just my personal opinion. Yes. After he told the judge that he was not employed, he had to gloat in his email and make sure that he signed the bottom as the CEO of said company just to let me know, right? So I'm not sure where he has been siphoning his funds into, but if I had to guess, I would assume that it's probably going into Kelly's bank account or maybe even his brother Samuel or maybe his parents, you know, who knows? Either way, you know, now he has a, he's bank lien free and he still is not doing right. He is going behind my back um, in his attempts to gather uh, to falsify as many documents as he can and gather as much false proof as he can, I guess in the hopes to take my child from me, I offered for us to go to therapy because I feel as though he needs therapy as well because he definitely has some issues and you know he's definitely delusional. And I said, you go to therapy and we will go to therapy, which he declined, which he declined. And he also had his siblings his sisters who have never sent not even a candy for my child on any holiday or any birthday all of a sudden they sent her um all this reading material basically trying to uh manipulate and brainwash her books like oh this little the, like say the storyline for the book is that a little girl got taken away from her father and she's miserable and this and that this and that trying to build up a narrative inside of my daughter's head that does not exist I reached out and emailed him and said, hey, I see what you're trying to do with your manipulation. Please cut it out. Then once my daughter got a phone because, you know, he was adamant that I was the one that stopping her from contacting him, which is not true. She just sees his true colors. And she also let me know that when she's with him, he makes a lot of racial comments. He feels as though I first of all, I think I think all people are created equal because this flesh suit right here really doesn't matter. OK, and I try to raise my children like that to be loving of all. If somebody, it don't matter what color they are, what they look like, it's how they treat you. That's what you go on. It's how they carry themselves. That's what you go on. Um, you know, she let me know that he makes a lot of racist comments. He's, you know, there's pro-black and then there's colorist and racist. And he is that. Also too, you know, I know that he stalks my social media because whenever he would come around in the beginning to come see my daughter, he started using my terminology, my lingo that I use in my videos, my healing wisdom videos. When I say grand rising X, Y, Z, he started talking to me in that vernacular and I noticed it. So I know he's, I know, I know he's watching. I know he is watching me, which, you know, I would think if you're watching me, I would want for you to get healing wisdom and be your best self after watching my videos. But hey, you cannot win them all. That's fine. I understand that. That's cool. Hopefully one day one of these videos will sink in. Who knows? Maybe it might be this one. But either way, beside all of that, he is continuing going behind my back. I posted a, a message from him. He's threatening me. And, you know, he's making a narrative to everyone. He's gone on a smear campaign and tried to make a narrative, a false narrative of my character and my true nature to everybody. And me personally, I've been through a lot in life. I have overcome a lot. I have no reason to lie. I leave this man alone. I leave his name out of my mouth. I don't mess with him. He does when he, whenever he feels like he does not want to be involved with his daughter, I don't bother him. Whenever his life is not going well, that's when he decides that he wants to target me and make my life hell because you know they say misery loves company. However, I am not going for that. I am a child of the light. I believe in peace, love, and light, not darkness. He is intent on trying to destroy me 
because he knows that I have purpose and he knows that God has a calling on my life. So therefore he's trying to discredit me. And he wants to flip the script and have me pay him because he feels as though he is my baby mama. That That is my baby mama. That is my bitter baby mama who is angry at me because I want no parts. And he is angry because my daughter wants no parts. However, because she's only 11 years old, at this time, she still has to be involved with him. And he is trying to force his ideals on her. He's trying to force, you know, he's trying to force his dreams, his ideals on her. And that is not what she wants to do. I believe in letting children express themselves creatively. Let them pursue the endeavors that they want to help them to grow and fortify that, not to force things on them. He said he wanted a relationship with her. School, two years in a row, I have contacted, well, this last year, this, this school year right here, she messaged him and told him she needed money for back to school clothes. He told her that that is adult conversation and he does not want to talk about it. Now, that is just, uh, you know... A whole bunch of verbal bullshit for he does not want to pay for it because he did not and just as i have been doing for many many years i provided for her her full uniforms and everything else because if it's one thing i don't play about mine i have never never as you can see in my message that i posted i told him i will never force you to do anything for your child again and he has not he has gone on his life and done Everything that he wanted to do, he has lived life like he was single and free, and I have not bothered him. I have granted him peace. But now he has a vendetta against me, and he is determined to make my life hell, to make me miserable, and, and it has trickled over to my child. Now, when you are so bitter and spiteful that you are trying to make your child's life hell, that is when it is a problem. And then he wants to take my child from me just purely out of spite. God takes care of of children I am a child of God my daughter is a child of God okay your delusions that you have mr. Coker they're unwarranted and I, I really don't care why you feel the way that you feel however I will continue on my path and my purpose and my life's mission putting out healing wisdom because I am a healed person I have evolved from every situation every curveball that life has thrown me I have learned from it I have taken a step back and I have taken every lesson that I needed and I have also found a way to transmute all negative energy to share it with others that are going through similar situations as myself. That is my divine purpose and that cannot be taken from me. No matter what you or anyone else does, no weapons formed against me will ever prosper. And if you think that I am scared of you, hopefully this video lets you know that I fear no man and justice will always be served because what's done in the dark will always come to the light. And I have absolutely nothing to hide and no reason to fear you. I will always do what is best for my child. For me, the whole situation with the bank perjury, the child support fraud and everything else that he's doing, it really doesn't matter to me because I tell you what, you can't miss something that you never had to begin with. He never had any intentions to support his child financially. He never had intentions to be there the way he was supposed to. When he had the opportunities, if it wasn't coming directly from me, he didn't want any parts. And then he tried to turn around and play the victim. That will only work for people who do not know the truth. So here I am putting out the truth. Also too, he is trying to uh, email me a whole bunch of uh, legal jargon bullshit, basically saying that he is going to try to request a court date where uh, my daughter will not be able to testify. He's going to try to suppress her testimony and he's going to also try to suppress my mother testimony because my mother has been taking care of my child when I was out to see my mother took care of my daughter and so he had to go through her and so sh therefore she has been a witness to his bullshit my other daughter has been a witness to his bullshit the everybody at all of my commands that I have been stationed at have been aware of Mr. Coker's bullshit right from the first when we were in Japan and I was pregnant and he cheated on me and got chlamydia and I had to go to the clinic and get a shot in my ass so that I would not get chlamydia while pregnant. From that command, right on out the military, it has always been open news 
So I don't know why he would feel as though this would work or that his magic would stop my voice. I don't know why he feels as though black magic will put him ahead, okay? I don't know why he feels as though his dark magic that he is doing against not just a child of God, but a chosen one who has a specific purpose. I don't know why he feels as though that would work. I don't know why he feels as though he can intimidate me into being silent and not speaking my truth. I don't know why he feels as though he can suppress and intimidate my child to not speak her truth. He also has plans to come this weekend. We all know it's a full moon to take my child. Lord knows what type of negative energy or manipulation or hypnosis or black magic or anything he may try to do to my child when he has her. But she's covered under the blood, okay? She's surrounded by a white light of protection. So no matter what he does, it will not work. It will not work. You and your people, whatever you have planned for me next, you may want to cancel the transaction because I don't have any reason to lie. The truth will always set me free. As I said before in many of my videos, I have had a tumultuous life. I've been through a lot and I have learned and I have grown and I will never ever let anybody try to paint me into something that I am not. Everything that I have ever been, I always was with pride. You cannot stop me. That's all I wanted to say. IRS, I hope that you, IRS, FBI, CSI, at anybody, I hope that you find this video and you look further into my claims because they are true. They are very true and very accurate. And I am sure that if the FBI or the IRS or anybody investigates the sudden dismissal of Mr. Coker's over $20,000 bank lien with his falsified documents that were falsely written with his wife and his brother forging my name, I'm pretty sure you'll get to the bottom and realize that it is all lies. Thank you guys for listening to me. That is all I have to say today. So tomorrow, no, I don't know, between tomorrow and next week, I will come back with some more healing wisdom for you. In the meantime, be blessed, okay? Let your haters be your motivators and continue to let your light shine. I love you guys.